welcome to the last episode of Singapore Diaries. In the following few clips, I'll be showing you the beautiful ground floor at the hotel we stayed at, which was Parama Riverfront. Our airport transfer, which we booked through Cluck, picked us up and dropped us off at Jewel Changi. I was mesmerized by Jewel Changi's beauty the moment we entered. Before exploring and trying their activities, we first decided to eat lunch at the Food Republic, which is Jewel Changi's food court. You're supposed to dip the bread, I mean the kaya bread, sa egg. But what about Kudetama? Of course, we bought a kaya toast and tried dipping it on the egg. This was such a delicious combo and I want to try it again. Here's us enjoying our last Singapore meal for this trip. After eating lunch, we went up to see the highly anticipated green vortex. I'm still wondering what that steam was for. Do you guys know what it's for? We then went up to the MasterCard Canopy Bridge where we were suspended 23 meters above the ground. Wow. Walking to the bridge was a bit scary because the thing we were stepping on was glass and you could see how high up you were. Oh, we are now about to go to the hedge maze here. Jewel Shanghai. Mommy, come on, come on. Mommy, come on. Mommy, come on. Mommy, come on. Mommy, 
Alas ay ista tayo di pa tayo nakakalabas. Kaya chan mo gusto mi Kaya nga may sen Hindi ka nga pwedeng bumalik So ako nga muna Ano nag-enjoy ba yung maliga? Entrance? Are we allowed to exit here? All of our tickets here and airport transfers were booked in advance using Klook. And all of our booking details are in the description box as usual. Daddy, go, 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 It's Elefante, my favorite stuff toy. After a very fun time in the hedge maze, which I absolutely recommend, we went to our next activity, which was the Topiri Walk, where we got to see beautiful crafted animals. We also saw real ducks there. Hello, ducks. The other one's sleeping. Every single area we went to had such a good view of the rain vortex. The level of planning that went into the entire tourist attraction amazed us all. We 
went through the walking net, which was such a fun experience because it was so hard to walk on and all you could do about it was to laugh and tremble. You're literally walking on a net and when you look down, you can see many floors below you. Regardless, it was a really fun activity to do. funny because we all tried the slide which I didn't really expect but I highly recommend these activities if you have the time. After having so much fun trying out their activities in Canopy Park, we checked in our baggage at the airport. Once we got to the airport, we explored it and bought so many things to bring with us, like Garrett's popcorn, which is my mom's favorite, and for me, I bought so many books. This was the perfect way to end a perfect trip. My happy place. Oh my gosh. Stop by the shop to buy ice cream. Thank you so much. And I also berry.
<laughs> Even though our trip was relatively short, it was still one for the books as I got to see a new side of my family and experienced activities that I never thought I'd be able to do with them. I am so happy that I chose to spend my 18th birthday with them. And to you, I hope you enjoyed watching my Singapore Diaries. Don't worry because I have a lot of travel vlogs coming up. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you won't miss out any future uploads. See you there!